Hi everybody, Oz here with George on the camera again. This is uh, our second seg segment of our small room uh, storage lockers. Uh, just some throwaways that I bought just to show you what you can pick up for next to nothing. Remember in the first segment, I only paid 50 bucks and I think we, well, we made like 500 off of it and it was like a 10 minute clean out. This is a little bit different. I don't normally buy this, so I'm buying this for you but it'll be fun. We'll see what we have. So take a shot of that. Tiny room. Not really the kind of stuff I normally buy. Um, the only reason I bought this was to show you guys, uh, you know, what you can pick up for next to nothing and maybe it'll be fun to dig for a few dollars. But also I bought a storage locker in the same facility and I'm already here, so, you know, why not? So here's the deal, 10 bucks. This was $10. Uh, if I can manage the trash, I'll buy almost anything for 10 bucks just to spend 20 minutes to go through it. So let's see what we got for 10 bucks, right? Well, there's a $5 blanket right there. Mm -hmm. I'll throw that down. And Shazam! Levi's jean jacket. That's it, that's paid for it. And it's, <laughs> I mean, it's a 75 to to $100 all day long. And I didn't even notice that really. I was looking at a couple other things, but check that out. And it, there, it doesn't seem to be any rips or tears on it. I'll wash it, clean it up, and this will probably go on eBay. So, well, this has turned out so far so good. <laughs> what do you think of RCA. I bought it because it had a little bit of electronics in it and some old vintage stuff, and I wanted to see what the heck was in it. So let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, sweet. Wow. Oh my gosh, if that works, super desirable right now. Uh, all you young hipsters out there at my antique mall are you know, buying the crap out of stuff like this. So that's fun. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? It just needs a little cleanup. Wow, if may, that works. It oh. may not be worth a lot, but it's certainly worth something. It's cool. That is great. Just peace. Wow. There's an HP laptop. Probably beat the heck, but I that's don't... a Chromebook. Could be good for parts of anything. Look at that. Not in bad shape. Here we go. The little box. I love it. Some Frankenstein. Ha Halloween. Okay, that's clean. Easy sell at the flea market. Spotless. A little pig, a little, got the Asian mark, a little, uh, you know, penny jar. Brand new, keep that. Is that the night of the living dead stuff? Or the, the Mexican culture where mm -hmm. they... Oh, that's a wall, I'm serious. <sighs> good I mean use it for their dogs for nothing else that's mm -hmm. easy swap meat well they had 30 bucks on this they either paid 30 bucks for it or they were trying to sell for 30 bucks and this looks like an old projector if you ask me right yeah it's an old projector yeah, I don't remember how to open these things up oh there you go Bell and Hal. 16 millimeter projector. Yeah. That's the higher end one, not the eight millimeter. There it is. Ooh, hoo, hoo. With the instructions and the real guy, wow. These can be good uh, at uh, a space at an antique mall uh, for the family member that comes through that found grandpa's old movies. Mm -hmm. So that's this is one of the reasons I bought this, just to want to take a look at it, see if it was good and uh, you know, may or may not be a sellable item, but it certainly is cool, retro looking, you know. We've got an old school. Then is a black and white television. That was my first TV, I remember. Exactly that model. Dial. Yep. What's that say? Is that Samuel? Sears. Is that a Sears? Yep. This is the wow. same model I had. You don't even see the Sears. Well, and what I liked about this is the color. Mm-hmm. 
So if that works, this is totally sellable. This will be in my antique space. I sell these pretty good. Not Those for a great. lot of money, but it's a retro thing. Again, great decor. Oh, yeah. um, I have a couple spaces at local antique malls and you get, um, you know, props companies coming through when they're doing, um, you know, on location, some kind of a, a, a movie or a video or a commercial or something. And they'll buy props to set, you know, set the, the backdrop on the stage. So that's super cool. And remember folks, 10 bucks. Oh yeah. This isn't my first rodeo. I do this for a living. So what do we think? We're looking at probably $300. Yeah, not old, but retro old. Little ra Raider cap and anything Raiders sell. There's a lot of Raiders fans, especially in the area I'm in. These were interesting. Those are weird. Some kind of a janky thing that they put together. Uh, I'll have to take those legs off the bottom of that, but there's a matte set of them. Yeah, it looks like that was, would have been in the, drilled like a into the ground. Or yeah, restaurant thing, that's what I'm thinking. These are cool though. Yeah, without the legs. Yeah, that makes sense. Restaurant seating outdoor, maybe. Those are cool. Yeah. Wow. Easy, 50, 60 bucks. Boy, this thing's coming through, right? Uh, more DVDs. We're on the DVD hunt, right? Trash. Trash. That's uh, the old brush for the, for the, the uh, record player back in the day. Crappy movies. Nothing I really want. Well, what do we have here? Are those some reels? Filters. Lens filters. Huh. I don't know. Don't know. Need to be looked up. See if they go with. They don't go with that. Then see if there's something that somebody online will buy, like eBay, or buy for parts. Uh, Wizard of Oz. That'll go with that. I do like the box, the vegetable box. This is a sell at the flea market, vintage. Some more movies. They're actually not horrible movies. Cool. Oh, that's a nice little box. That is really cool. Sellable. New Yorker. That will sell, you know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Looks like the little girl's room. Toasty purse. Beanie baby. Cute beanie. An old phone. What we got? It's like a Samsung, maybe? It's not an iPhone. Oh, it's an iPhone. You gotta check which model it is. Not bad. Interesting. More than $10 for sure. Licorice pizza. Cool. Another little box. Yeah, another rug. Virgin Mary, yeah, that's a religious. Oh no, that's a poncho. Poncho. Wow, that's nice. Crazy. You seen this? I love now stuff. that. Looks cool. I love this old Fisher Price stuff. I remember stuff like that. Battery compartment. Batteries okay. don't look corroded, so that's mm -hmm. good. Contacts are all right. It's like my first cassette player. Yeah, these yep. people are buying one. this stuff. I seen that, so picking that up. That's really cool. I seen this. Those Not are that fun. It, they're fun. It's uh, it's there's a plug. Remember we found That's the, the plug. That's the one we found right there. That's a good sign. So yeah, the the young kids love the retro stuff. They're fascinated with the remedial technology, so they'll buy this just to fiddle with it. Oh, that's a hell of a wow. 
ring on it here. Looks like it's set. Hopefully that will come out, but that's a pretty good coat. It looks like a Hispanic Mexican gentleman. That's the kind of bling bling that they would wear. Very nice. Or is that a ladies? I can't straight. tell. It's pretty cool though. It's heavy duty. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Some boom boxes. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Cord, Just everything. missing the cover. But that's cool. If that works, that's a sellable item. I mean, we don't know. I mean, 20 bucks, maybe more. Another cool radio. Another Radio Shack out of business. They must have been collecting vintage. Uh, radio. Yeah, that's cool. That's super I love cool. that color. This is great stuff for me to stock my antique mall. It's awesome. Another that's one. a nice one. Realistic. Ooh, that's heavy too. Wow. Looks like it's missing uh, the, just the cover. It's all complete. There's, the other one. There's yeah, another the cord. cord. Wow. That's nice. That's heavy. I did see this, and I wanted to check this out. It looked like some kind of school instrument or something. It's one of the reasons I bought this. It might be toast. But I just want to see what it is. Oh, what was that? It's a speaker. Is it a portable speaker? That's what it looks like. Weird. It's got some, some issues, though. Let's turn it to its side. Look on the side here. Looks like someone tried to build a, some sort of speaker box. I don't know. That's kind of funky. Oh, weird. Here. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find. A record vacuum. Wow, oh, these really? are actually... Yeah, that's old. These are actually cool. I, uh, re you know, I don't resurface, but I, you can't resurface vinyl, but I certainly wipe them down and... This would be something that if it works, try it out. It might save cool, me some time with some basic dust. What a cool piece. I love it. Broken one. It's a Hitachi. Germany, just a broken top. Broken top. Okay. It's a shame. That one's really cool. Could be a parts item on eBay or something. Yeah, if you're looking to repair that stuff, you can't make it anymore. So. Could be. Walt Disney Fantasyland. This is a cool Whoa. book. They paid four bucks probably at a thrifty store back in the day. Let's see if that comes off. Yeah, I have to be careful to get that one off. Like a hardback. Anything Disney that sells. Really cool. That is cool. Yeah, here we go. That is awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Porta Vision 60. That is so cool. <laughs> I freaking love radios. That was freaking awesome. That's <laughs> small portable. Clean inside. Ah. It's going to power up. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. That's funny. Wow. This, yeah, this is... guy really liked his radios. Look at that thing. What was this? It's a Marantz. Marantz, I think that's German. Marantz. Well, it's a, there's the I've same basic chord. No, Marantz is pretty popular in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Yeah. Look at that. That's a wild one. It is. That looks like a heavy duty one. It is. Here. <sighs> we have else? a full radio collection. I can't believe this room was only 10 bucks. Look at that. Packard Bell, that's an old radio, isn't it? Yeah, Packard Bell before they went into computers. It's in really good shape. It's pretty. It's not cracked. It's not damaged. It's sellable. We're going to line all this out for you folks and let you get a good look of it. Yeah, these radio, this radio lot's And then I got and an Elvis. Elvis. An Elvis doll. On top of everything else, we got uh, Barbie Elvis, or, or, or was it Ken Elvis? Wow. Something. A little dirty, a little toasty. Puffy! <laughs> so much good stuff. One more. Sony. Looks like an 80s Tap Tunes. Never oh, heard no, of that's it. A, looks like an early 90s. The color is supposed to be on the inside. 
Yeah, that's that looks early 90s, late 80s. It's all about that Sony name, though. It's all about that Sony name. Which means it'll still probably work. Yeah, movie nothing but a little bit of cleanup left, but not bad for 10 bucks, huh? I, I mean, I can't even tell you how much this is worth, but I'm going to guess it's probably... So something in here is going to be desirable. Something in here is going to be worth fifty, seventy-five hundred dollars $7,500. I bet you there's $600 of this stuff here. 10 bucks. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, easy. And look at the cleanup here. I mean, this is what I call, uh, you know, like a trash room. You know, just a really quick, you know... I don't know, it's not really a trash room, it's just a, it's just a room, it's a throwaway room, that's a better term for it, because you're just going to go through and you're going to take, skim the cream out of it, hopefully find some good stuff, and then you're just going to throw the rest in the dumpster. So it's a throwaway, it's a $10 throwaway that is making me six, 60 times <laughs> what I paid for it. So, sometimes folks... It's it's worth just buying a little dirty room and taking a shot. Now, I, I did see some things in here that led me to believe that there could be some upside here. So, I mean, it, you know, I just don't buy any room like this. But, um, thanks for joining us. We're going to lay it out here in a minute at, at the end of the video and let you see the good stuff that we that we gleaned out of this. So I told you we would uh, lay out everything that we're keeping out of this $10 room. So here's what I got for 10 bucks. I'm gonna start over in the corner. I actually left some of the DVDs inside. I just took a handful that I think are cool and some sci-fi, got some cool clothes. Like I said, $7,500 or more all day long for that Levi's jean jacket, bam, right there. I love these pedestals. I'll take the legs, the Jimmy legs that they put there to keep them the same size and I'll put those downtown. Those are cool. Those will sell downtown for probably $75 because they got the industrial legs. And we got the radios. Super cool. You know, got to test them all, see what's what. But I mean, God, even at 10 bucks a piece. But I mean, some of these are going to be worth something. Uh, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, who knows? So let's just count them, one, two, three, four, five. Let's put 15 bucks on on the 60 bucks, right? We got the phone and the watch. I don't know, worst case scenario, you got 50 bucks out of the two, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got yourself 60 and 50, let's just call it 100 with 175 with two, two, so there's 300 bucks right there. Got some more down here, these Fisher Price can be collectible. Those are fun. Um, but even at 10 bucks a piece, 20 bucks a piece, got a little extra money, that hat will sell. Got the turntable, hope the turntable works, it's super cool. Then you got the, the projector, you know, 20, 30 bucks or whatever. You got some brand new tapes. The computer, that retro TV is super so cool. cool. That looks kind of so like cool. what I had in the 70s too. I actually had an older model, but I had all dial up. Yeah. I can remember Turning the dial, the dial got so worn, I can remember turning it in between stations to make it, you know. My no, the knob on mine was broken, I had to use a flathead yeah. on the little thing, I remember that. <laughs> I was a latch, latch key kid in some ways, <laughs> product of the 70s, watching Star Trek and, and uh, you know, Brady Bunch reruns and all that. But uh, that'll sell, I mean, I probably will have at least 50 bucks on it. And then this is a cool little radio. It's got a good look. Even if it doesn't work, nothing's cracked on it. Yeah, it's got the right look. Easy peasy money. Couple other odds and ends. I mean, we're looking at God, an easy five, six hundred dollars, right? Yeah, out of a room. Out of a, out of a. Less than a, a burger. Out of a, yeah, less than a burger. Less than a McDonald's burger. And the, this is a throwaway room. You know, this is a room that you can do like. We took the time to pull it out and show you. I could throw that in the back of a truck in 10 minutes, go home, sort the trash, and you're done like in an hour. So, uh, you know, that's a good good little haul for this uh, second segment in our, in our small storage locker video. So, thanks for joining us. I hope to see you again. Tell your friends.